Hey guys, welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and we talk about game design. You always had the about. I know, we talk game design, whatever. We do games. We practice this, man. I know, I got it once and that's my <laughs> record, one time. So, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Claire could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not fun. Don't think this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> he he doesn't jump out of the water very well. Thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? John is not helping you out right now. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. It's interesting though that Sarah is aware that she is an AI, which yeah. is something that none of the other characters seem to be aware of. Could be crazy though. I mean, you are. Yeah, but is it relevant in this? Right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. There's a whole lot going on. There's a whole lot going on. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, John, you got to go over. Interesting that. It's just the right amount of height where he needs Sarah to be able to jump over it. Yep. Which is sort of like the first for John, because normally he's the one that yeah, can he jump. Does, he doesn't need anybody. Except except now. Yeah, he's like the high jump. Uh, uh. Alright, Sarah, you got this. You got this. You're our superhero. Actually, Ooh, we have our player. superhero duo right now. Although Sarah never claims to be a superhero, she just says she's better than everybody. It's I think basically the same. You may need a little more than what you're doing. I think you need a little more than what you're doing. Oh, okay. That's not irrational. You're not irrational. No. Watch this. Watch. Oh, actually, watch this. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, you know, she can float. <laughs> what is uh this float you speak of? <laughs> What is, what is a floaty thing? Ha! So, do you think that there are any other kind of like, I don't know, environment obstacles that would make sense for this game? Like, water is really like the main one. Yeah, water I mean, is the it, main that, one. That, that I mean, spikes, I, I guess. Yeah, the spikes, I mean, unless they want to throw like, hurl objects at you, maybe? I mean, like, I guess if anything, I could see some interesting things being done with gravity that we haven't seen yet. Led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. What? What? That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. What? Why couldn't they I do this? They make a nice portal. What? No. What? This is... This is not what I expected. Yeah. I guess this answers my question, though. This is sort of an environment obstacle. It's a lock and key mechanic. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. Oh. We're going to keep dragging this thing around. All right, Sarah. I think that's an option. You're pretty narrow. There you go. Hit. This is super crazy. Yeah, yeah. Nicely done. Dude, psh. Pro platformer. Okay, <laughs> I just will never compliment you again. Way to fail. There you go. I guess you didn't fail that time. Good for you. Happy about that? Does that feel better? No. I think you need to get Sarah back there. I think you need to get Sarah back there. Uh, well, you know, I'm not looking for Sarah. You are, you jamoke. Do what you call me? You jamoke. Jamoke. Yeah, I, I... That's a cool little thing. That is really cool. I I can see that changing a lot of yeah. <laughs> the levels Chris to come. was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone. But Aww. Laura smiled at him. And immediately... He knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. He really likes it, uh, um, Laura a whole lot. 
A little creepy. Why is it a little creepy? A little creepy. What, because there's feelings for somebody else? A lot of feelings. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nah, I'm just kidding. She completes him. And she can only complete him. <laughs> That's all <laughs> that Chris ever wanted. This is like a horror game. <laughs> These puzzles are getting a lot more complex, too. Like, there's a lot of... Um, Multi... Yeah, like, moving components. Like, we can't do this step until we do this step, until we do this step. But it seems like the natural progression, though, for this game. It it does give each of the levels a lot more of their own, like, internal progression. Okay, so... Oh, is there still a button that needs to be pressed? Because... Oh, yeah, yeah there it is. I've really hidden, actually. No, you need to... Yeah. No. So now, boom. Oops. So I wonder if they just had the key there just to like, or do do we did you unlock the key? So the yeah the key. Oh, it was that really fast. The key was blocking um. What was his name? The green guy. Oh, it was blocking uh, James. James, yes. And I think it unlocked um, a huh. passageway for Claire. They're unstoppable together. It, it is kind of terrifying. All right. Boom. Tough acting to Nick. This is really cool. I I almost hope that there aren't a lot more characters after this. I mean, we're in like stage seven, right? Yeah. Um. So I feel like if there are more characters at this point, Laura it's like. Had been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. Aww. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. That's actually kind Dude, of cute. Yeah, man. Laura's awesome. Especially because she's one of the characters, like, much like Claire, right? Started off in this game just, like, not feeling happy yeah, about like, anything. Yeah, well, like, what am I supposed to do in this world? And then she met Chris, and she's able to help Chris bounce around. And now she's like, man, I can help everyone bounce around. There's always something that needs some help bouncing around, too. I think that really brings home the, like, main theme of the game, too, which is friendship. Yeah. Um, in, in like, not the most expected way, either. Thomas, mm -mm. like the idea of being an architect. Oh, God, everyone's back in this one. World to help others. I thought these puzzles just get a little more long spaces. now. Yes. Intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. See, but now here they're not even really helping each other. He'd empower the AIs above. I guess except for right here. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you gonna need can Laura make that jump on her own? Oh, yeah. oh she can, okay. Yeah, I guess that is sort of the the challenge with designing these levels, I imagine, is that if you do too much, right? If you have a lot of characters and you do too much, then suddenly it becomes very time intensive. Yes. In a way that stops being fun. Um, I mean, I guess that's that's per person, right? Like, I, yeah. I don't think I would mind too much, but if I had to spend like an hour on one level, then, yeah, you know, yeah, it yeah, would yeah, feel a little much. All right, Sarah, you need to get this, get this over there. There you go. Oh, I'm so close to getting over both. I thought you were gonna get them over both. Yeah, whatever, 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 whatever. Damn it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm whatever. Sarah. I'm the best. Boom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boom. Boom went no dynamite. <laughs> oh, we're passing the torch. John's massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. That's about accepting, you know? That he yeah. wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic oh. as he had. Uh -huh. He liked the sound of that. Weird. Not what, I, what, not what I would have expected from John, actually. Well, so I think everyone's starting to accept the fact that maybe they're, you know, you need, there are multiple pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, like they're accepting that they can't do everything by themselves. No, and now it's just about giving the piece that they, they feel that they're strong James at. James still felt weird. <laughs> But he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. 
the other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. I'm interested to see what Chris says. Yeah, he hasn't really well, spoken cause, cause, cause in a little while. Like he wants to help everybody because, you know, he... Because of meeting Laura, he's decided that, like, you know, because of one person, he's he can do anything. That's fair. But you haven't heard his resolution yet. Yeah, and I think... Well, we also or haven't really heard... Resolution. We haven't heard Sarah's resolution, really. No, because she didn't get to go to the fountain herself, and so that kind of freaked her out. She's I like, mean, she is the newest member to the party. Oh, other than that, just crush you, just... <laughs> Excellent. Sarah died. That's <laughs> her Claire die. Claire died. It's <laughs> like blood red font, like <laughs> right covers the screen. <laughs> this game got real different, it's real like, fast. Are we playing Slaughterhouse? What is <laughs> right. this? What happened to Thomas? Was alone. Thomas was slaughtered. <laughs> Cute oh, crisis. Time. Yeah, we're. Uh, I Whoa! Now is a good time to. Oh God! Uh, let's Thomas see if we can get through this. Nathan Fillion, Laura Transformer. <laughs> He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. Huh. Are you gonna lose all the cubes at the end of this? All the, that would be pretty sad. All the, the quadrilaterals just die? All of them. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Well, this is. Is that. That's the internet thing right there. Yeah. The creation matrix. Yeah, I don't really want to leave this one unanswered. I feel like people have had enough cliffhanger since Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta wait a year. <laughs> Screw you guys. I don't think this is gonna take too long, too. It's just a matter of getting everyone over there. Everyone over there, absolutely. This is totally gonna open up and crazy stuff is gonna happen. The bat demons from hell. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Oop. Let's do you. There you go. There you go. Oh. I wouldn't take her too far. Oh, yeah, because you really can't. Good. Because Chris has to get away around. Don't forget about Chris. Don't. Chris, don't oh, forget about well, At least you got it there. Alright, maybe you should stop for a second <laughs> instead of like trying to do this. Just, just stop it, man. Doom, doom, just stop it. You can't make it, man. You can't chill. I thought you were going to do something else again. I'm like, Chris, seriously? <laughs> Ooh. Got to chill. Chill. Oh. oh, okay. I was worried that Chris wouldn't be able to make it. Like, you little short person. Okay, we'll do everyone just... Yeah. Hold on. How is he gonna get back up? Who, Chris? Yeah. Uh, from Thomas, probably. Yeah, from, from uh, Thomas. <laughs> from Thomas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is my plan all along. Alright, you short stack. <laughs> it's like you. <laughs> you and this Chris have so much in common. <laughs> I'm not that short. You're pretty short. No, you're just tall. No, I'm like natural. I'm perfectly average height. Yeah, perfectly average height. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so if there were any new characters at this point. Dude, like, no, what it, do you even think that it would be? It would be funny if their goal was to fill up the whole screen on the bottom with just colors. Oh like, my god, that would be overwhelming. Good luck. Well, that's, I mean, that's actually something worth talking about in game design. Yeah. And this this is actually something Je Jesse Shell talks about in his book on game design is like, and I actually, I really like the example he used, um, but there's a point in which it's it's just too much. Um, right. And if you give your player too many options, it becomes overwhelming to the point where they will choose none because they're just like, I don't, I don't even know where to start, so I'm just not going to start. Right. I feel like so far they're they're just hitting that perfect point. Yeah. It's like if they did I mean, any more, two, it'd be four, too six. Long. There's seven seven characters right now. I, I feel like that is kind of the golden number with a game like this. Uh, to the internet and beyond. Come, come, come. What if the game just froze? Just blow. The computer catches fire. 
Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AIs were free to escape. Oh, and here's a new and one. And here's a new one. I mean, we left chapter seven with seven characters. Maybe they do just have 10 characters in total. Yeah. Sort of like a new one every single chapter. But anyway, we'll come back yeah. to this in the next episode and figure out what this... Gray, is he gray? Yeah, he's gray. So we'll figure out what this gray guy's all about. What clothes look like to you? Gray. Okay. But he, he could have been pink for all I know. Right. <laughs> Other people like, it looks yellow. Like, no. No. Most definitely. If I were, if I were blue, yellow colorblind man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for watching, everyone. A question of the day. Uh, question of the day. I want to ask about the character limits. Like, do you think? Uh, What's too much? Yeah. What What is too uh, much for a game like this? I think, I think that's that's a good enough question. I mean, I think it covers all the bases. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Subscribe and vote and click <laughs> stuff. Bye. Uh.